From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Walking Dead actor Josh McDermott, who plays Eugene on the AMC show, has quit social media following death threats from fans who hate his character. McDermott deleted his Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook accounts. He says, quote, "...don't send me death threats because I'm going to report all that stuff to the cops. I'm just sick of it. You can hate Eugene. I don't care. I'll argue that you're wrong, but you can think whatever you want. But when you start saying, you hope I die, I don't know if you're talking about Josh or Eugene." Unquote. Wow! Are, you know, there's got to be some dead fans out there that realize this is just a TV show, right? Huh? Anybody? You, you do realize it, right? A United Airlines flight had to be delayed several hours after a scorpion was discovered on board. Man, I am amazed. I mean, with all the negative publicity, you'd think the scorpion would choose a different airline. If you're a Once Upon a Time fan, well, we're hearing that the Wicked Witch of the West, Emma, and Snow White, along with Prince Charming, are all not coming back next season. If this show is to survive, somebody better wish upon a star. Makes no difference who you are. A hiker from Flagstaff, Arizona, really loves his pizza, to the point of getting hypothermia to get it. A search and rescue team had to come to the aid of a 30-year-old hiker, wearing only shorts and a tank top, by the way, who got stuck in heavy snow on Mount Eldon during his quest for free pizza. The unidentified hiker he'd been racing to the mountain peak to win a free pizza from the local pizzeria, Pizza Cletta, but he was apparently unaware of heavy snow conditions and he called for help around 9 a.m. He was found shivering heavily and probably at mild stages of hypothermia. Free pizza. Uh, free pizza, by the way, that's not free if it comes with medical bills to treat your hypothermia. President Trump is threatening to cancel White House press briefings. You know, maybe if he did that, I'd feel a little better each day. A New York mom says an IHOP waitress pulled a steak knife on her during an argument. It all started when the customer complained that her Rudy Tooty Fresh and Fruity wasn't fruity and fresh enough, and it just got out of hand from there. The Mormon Church is severing ties with the Boy Scouts of America and plan to start up their own version of the program. Hey, you know what? Maybe they'll do a better job of determining Boy Scouts need to be boys. The Marlar House mobile app is now available, and it's free! You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, watch Marlar House YouTube videos, check out the t-shirts, mugs, audiobooks, and other stuff in the Marlar House store, see what's in my blog, and more. It's all in one app, and it's free for iOS and Android users. Download it now at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A rare Harry Potter prequel, handwritten by author J.K. Rowling on a postcard, has been stolen during a burglary in central England, police said on Friday, as they appealed for help from fans of the wizard across the world. But, well, wait, oh, wait a minute here. A Harry Potter prequel written on a postcard? That has got to be a short, short story. I can't imagine it was worth that much. A retreat called Cannibalist will take place next month in California. They're not bothering to say what will happen because, well, duh. Over the weekend, President Trump delivered the commencement address at Liberty University. He offered to speak at his own Trump University, but there was nobody left there to speak to. It may be the greatest marriage proposal surprise of all time. In Australia, a man identified only as Terry had given his girlfriend Anna a necklace on their one-year dating anniversary. Using Juan Pine, a wood that's native to Tasmania, he carved the necklace himself, and she wore it almost every day for the next year. Well, what she didn't know was that inside the necklace, he had hidden an engagement ring. Terry says it was literally under her nose. Okay, so flash forward to November 2016, when the couple took a trip to Smoo Cave in Scotland, a place they had talked about visiting since they first met. Well, on location, Terry asked for the necklace so he could take a photo of it. Well, secretly, he broke the seal that she didn't know was there with a knife and, with his camera rolling, got down on one knee, pulled the necklace out of his pocket, cracked it open, and popped the question. After initial shock and confusion, Anna finally worked out what had happened and yelled, Yes! Terry says she then kind of flipped out, saying, It's been in there the entire time? I could have lost it, you freaking idiot! JetBlue removed a family over a controversy surrounding a cake they brought on board. 
It appears JetBlue's corporate policy is that you can only bring cake aboard if you bring enough for everyone. President Trump is said to be weighing a huge reboot in his White House staff after becoming disappointed with several aides. So in other words, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you too, and you, and you're fired. Pop-Tarts are the grab-and-go breakfast of our childhood, but well, they've now departed from breakfast entirely with three newly announced flavors. Hitting stores later this month are Jolly Rancher-flavored Pop-Tarts in three varieties – green apple, cherry, and watermelon. And it's not going to be the same, though. I mean, you can't suck on a Pop-Tart for 20 minutes with the same kind of joy. Right now, you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur by visiting DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Grow deeper in your knowledge of the one true God. Get the book free right now. Click the Free Stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Offer expires June 2nd. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!